The term fastener encompasses a fairly broad category of tools, such as screws, nuts, and bolts, that share a common purpose, to mechanically hold objects together. Let's look at bolts a bit deeper. Bolts are inserted through unthreaded holes that are pre-drilled in the materials being joined together. Unlike screws, bolts are designed to be used with a nut to join parts together using tightening torque. More simply put, a turning or twisting force. Washers, commonly used in the bolting assembly, help evenly distribute the clamping load from the bolt or nut head over a larger area. One of the most common bolt types are hex bolts. They can be fully or partially threaded and have a hexagonal head which requires a wrench or a socket to tighten. Hex bolts are often used in wood to wood, wood to metal, and metal to metal construction. Shoulder bolts, also referred to as stripper bolts, feature a threaded section smaller in diameter than the shoulder, which are both specified when looking for shoulder bolts. The shoulder often functions as a shaft or axle with a rotating or sliding part and are used in many different applications. Carriage bolts are unique in that they feature a round dome head and a self-locking element, which only allows for disassembly from the nut side. Originally used for carriage and carriage wheel construction, carriage bolts are now found in many common places. Flange bolts have a hex head and a washer-like surface under the head, which acts like a washer, evenly distributing the load and allowing for faster insulation. Flange bolts are commonly used in automotive and plumbing, but are also used in many other industries. Machine bolts have a hex head, and although often used synonymously with machine screws, are typically larger. Machine screws are inserted into pre-drilled tapped holes or driven into a material and tightened. Machine bolts are designed to be tightened by applying and torquing a mating nut on the end of the bolt. Anchor bolts are designed to attach a structural member or component to a concrete slab or poured foundation. Anchor bolts may be preset into place while the concrete structure is being cast, as with a plate used on top of a poured foundation. Anchors may also be attached after the concrete has been cured through the use of a drilling operation to create a channel into which the anchor bolt may be inserted. J-bolts are similar to anchor bolts and are commonly used for securing reinforcement steel bar to concrete foundations. U-bolts are named for their U-shape and have two male threads on each end to attach a mounting bracket and nuts. U-bolts can be semicircular or squared off and are used to support pipes, hold objects in place, and keep cables and ropes together. I-bolts can be open, partially closed, or fully closed and can have coarse threads for anchoring into material or fine threads for attaching a nut. Depending on the strength each application requires, the appropriate eye bolt is used. There are many other types of bolts with their own unique characteristics and applications. As technology advances, so too do the bolts that hold our world together. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Things Fasteners.